Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Sensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. From general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. Napag-usapan na natin ang tungkol sa matter at ang mga common properties of matter. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan naman natin ang tungkol sa physical and chemical properties of matter. Have you ever wondered why yung pinkish na raw meat ay nagiging brown once ginigrill o periprito na natin to? And have you asked why ang gold, which looks like this, becomes like this? when it is turned into necklaces, rings, and other types of jewelry. Dahil yan sa physical and chemical properties of matter. If you remember, meron tayong concept map na ginagamit to classify matter. Matter can be classified into either pure substances or mixtures. Under pure substances, matter can be elements or compounds. Under elements, matter can either be metals, metalloids, or non-metals. Under compounds, matter can be organic or inorganic. Let's go to the other side. When matter is a type of mixture, it can be a solution, a colloid, or a suspension. In this topic, we will focus on the physical and chemical properties of the common substances or matter that we know. First, physical properties. Physical properties are those that we can easily observe, like size, gano kalaki, color, anong kulay, shape, anong anyo, texture, how does it feel when you touch it, state, solid ba, liquid ba, gas ba, or volume, how much space it occupies. Physical properties can easily be identified using our naked eye. Physical properties are the characteristics of a material that can be observed without changing the identity of the material. In physical properties, the material remains the same, even though it changes one or more properties. Some substances exhibiting physical properties are nails, which contain iron and they are attached to a magnet. The magnetic attraction is a physical property of iron. We also have gold, which can be used to create jewelries and ornaments. They can be flattened into sheets like a gold leaf or a gold ring. This physical property is malleability. What is harder to identify are the chemical properties. Some chemical properties are combustion, electrolysis, oxidation, and tarnishing. Chemical properties are the characteristics of a material that can be observed only when one or more substances are produced. So yung chemical properties changes a substance or it produces another substance. First, we have combustion. Combustion is the fast combination of a fuel with oxygen, producing heat, light, and a new substance. Ano ba ang halimbawa ng substance na just show ng combustion? We have this, burning paper. Ano ba yung new substance na produce? We can observe smokes and ashes. And these two are the evidences that a chemical property is seen because a new substance is made. Another chemical property or chemical change is electrolysis. Electrolysis is the use of electricity to separate or break a compound into elements or simpler compounds. What is an example? An example 
is breaking water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. Take a look at the illustration. This is a solution of water. But when electricity is used in the process of electrolysis, water separates into hydrogen and oxygen. The red dots or the red bubbles are hydrogen and the blue bubbles are oxygen. Next, we also have oxidation. Oxidation is the interaction of oxygen with a substance or material to form a new product. A common chemical property is the formation of a new product. In oxidation, a new product, just like in rusting nails, is formed. The new product in this chemical change is the rust. Dati walang rust, but because of oxidation, rust is formed. Another one is the darkening or blackening of bananas. Pag yung banana o saging, iniwan na natin sa kitchen, it interacts with oxygen, causing it na madunot. Then last on our list of chemical properties of changes is tarnishing. Tarnishing is the slow combination of a shiny metal just like your rings, your necklaces. It combines with oxygen, sulfur, or another substance producing a dark coating, therefore losing its brightness. Isang halimbawa nito ay ang brass instrument na bago. Kapag bago pa lang ang isang instrument, it is shiny, napakakintab, napakakinis. But through time, through the small accumulation of oxygen, sulfur, and other substances, the bright and the shiny instrument becomes like this. It produced a dark coating and it is no longer bright just like before. Quiz time! That ends our discussion and we will have a short quiz para malaman natin kung may natutunan ba kayo sa lesson natin today. I will give you 3 minutes to answer this quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check.
one. Gold can be shaped into jewelry. This is its blank. Among the choices, we only have two. Nababagay sa sentence. Either physical property or chemical property. Balik tayo sa first part. Gold can be shaped. Is that a physical or a chemical property? That is a physical property. Next, number two. It causes jewelries to lose its shine. O kumukupas. What is this chemical change or chemical property? It is tarnishing. Number three. When you burn wood, smoke comes out as a result of blank. When you burn something, that is the key word. When you burn something, it involves the process of combustion. And smoke is the new substance that is released as a result of this chemical process. Next, number four. Banana left in the kitchen becomes black because of blank. The answer is oxidation. Because the banana has interacted with oxygen since it is left to be exposed with the air around us, it became black due to oxidation. Last number. What chemical process causes water to separate into hydrogen and oxygen? Between the two choices, we are asked which is a chemical process, not a chemical property. Therefore, the answer that would fit is electrolysis. Congratulations to everyone who got 5 over 5. I hope you really learned a lot. I want to know your score, so please comment it down para ma-check namin. That ends our Sciencia Amazing episode. We hope that you've learned something from our video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!